Nie Haisheng, Liu Boming, and Tang Hongbo installed Wi-Fi in the morning. They will spend about a week installing other necessities. This week marks the early stage of work. During this period, their mission is to set up various facilities they need, including those for telecommunications, living, cooking, and sanitation. This will lay the foundations for long-term living in orbit. Later, they will carry out experiments and training for spacewalks. More than 160 packages, including supplies and equipment for experiments, were delivered to the space station in late May. There are about six tons of goods. There is a QR code on each package. When they scan it, the data will be transmitted to a laptop so that they will know which package they have opened. The items include things like treadmills and bicycles for exercise. Scientists say the astronauts will lose muscle mass in a microgravity environment. If they don't work out enough, they could potentially sustain broken bones when returning to Earth. Also, waste and feces will be stored in Tianzhou Two, the station's detachable cargo capsule. At the end of the mission, it will detach from the space station and burn up while falling through Earth's atmospheric layers. Tianhe is 16.6 meters long and 4.2 meters wide. It's equipped with three separate bedrooms and one bathroom. The dining area has refrigeration, an appliance similar to a microwave oven, and drinking water equipment. The country's first astronaut said he envied the room the crew has aboard the space station. I'm happy with the astronauts as well as the project's achievements. I also admire the amount of space they have. This reveals the rapid development of our aerospace industry in the past years. The space station is also equipped with a 24-hour emergency warning system that monitors the space station systems. It's linked to mission control on the ground.